Hi Taurus, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of January 4th to the 10th, 2021. And I do want to of course take this moment to uh, remind you to head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button for me as well as that little notification bell. And I meditated on your energy overall for the week before beginning. And the message that came through was take your time. Take your time. So let's get started. All right, let's start off by doing some shuffling so we can pull a couple of messages from the Spellcasting Oracle deck. While I shuffle my friend, <clears throat> my friends, we uh, this is a good time rather to, uh, to let you know this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus if love comes into place. And um, yeah, so because it's general, do what you can to apply it to your situation, take what resonates, and do leave what doesn't. But let's get this going. What do we have, Spirit, to begin this weekly read for our lovely Taurus, Tauruses? January 4th, the 10th, 2021. Thank you, Spirit, for Taurus. We got one. Keep them coming. The Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, nice. Did you see that? I think that is going to be what we're taking. Oh, we got five. This damn card keeps coming out in these weekly readings. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Okay, forgiveness first. Taurus, it feels like this week there is somebody who's going to pop up somehow where you need to forgive them. Or you may need to forgive yourself for something, maybe for at times taking um, time away from your business projects, whatever it is you've been working towards. You owe it to yourself at the end of the day for those occasional self-care days to keep yourself going if that's the case. Or whoever it is, there's going to be forgiveness um, this week somehow. And we have beauty. Taurus, there's going to be a focus on how beautiful you are this week and how good looking. No, but on a serious note, you will at some point this week, I feel like, be thinking about making changes to your appearance. Maybe coloring your hair for somebody, for some of you. Or um, getting your nails done, simply just trying out new outfits, new jewelry. It just feels like an experimental kind of beauty time for you. Which is cool. Do your thing. And then we have Passion. This is the card that keeps coming out in like almost all of these weekly so far. But anyways, uh, it does feel like this is a week where there's a focus on your passion when it comes to whatever business you've been working towards or project or hobby or job. You kind of um, being reminded maybe, if need be, of why you're doing something or how something makes you um, feel at the end of the day because you're so passionate about it in a positive light. See how that plays in. And then dreams and happiness. For a lot of you, you get messages from spirit, from um, your angels through your dreams. But it, it feels like there are messages trying to come through to you. It's one of their favorite ways to speak with us, I feel. Um, but pay attention to your dreams because I feel like there's something to be learned, something they're trying to get through to you about your future, maybe. They're reminding you to take your time because you have nothing but happiness ahead of for you. Nothing about this genuine contentment and joy if you've been feeling quite overwhelmed or stressed recently. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's um, continue by doing some shuffling so we can pull seven tarot cards for the week. One for each of the upcoming days. One shuffle down. Let's do one more. Alrighty, Spirit, what do we have for our lovely Tauruses to continue this weekly read for the 4th to the 10th of January? Bear with me. Keep them coming for Taurus. That was quite somber. Uh, very easy. It might feel like even though 
life has been a bit stressful. Like at the very least this week, it's going to feel like things just kind of happen more effortlessly. It's the way it should be, right? So we're starting off with the Nine of Wands. Um, Queen of Swords, don't be surprised as you're sort of making your way through the week if you're thinking about um, cutting people, place, and situations out. It just could simply be on your mind for some reason. I decided not taking that one. But uh, so we're starting off on Monday with the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> um, I believe I was mentioning before about how you might be feeling recently a little um, burnt out or just stressed out over all you have to accomplish even though you are excited and happy about all that's um, transpiring. And so you start off the week kind of thinking about um, feeling a bit wounded, feeling a bit burnt out, although you do want to keep going. But again, forgive yourself if you need to take a day off, a day away from whatever you're working towards. It won't die in, in that one day, you know what I mean? Or that time period. It, just forgive yourself if you do need to take a, a you day, a me day. Being side by side with the beauty card. And did you see this came out in reverse at first and then a spirit couldn't decide which way because it feels like you start off feeling quite wounded, upright. And then being side by side with beauty, it feels like you decide to do something on Monday to start off the week to spark um, some creativity or passion within your week. Change up maybe your hair color, like I was saying, or do something fun or just treat yourself. It's somehow tied to your beauty, you know, to make yourself feel good to take you out of this wounded warrior mindset. And that's a beautiful way to go about it. Oh, that was a mouthful. And then we have the Seven of Wands to move right along to Tuesday. And for some reason on Tuesday, it feels like you lack this sort of inner peace. It feels like someone's popped or something's popped your uh, inner peace bubble recently. You know, it just feels like you're trying to, moving forward, figure out how to establish more inner peace in your routine, in your life. And the overall message is take your time, Taurus. It feels like you you feel the inclination, the, the push to rush things, to, to get things done perfectly on time. And it's like, okay, yes, stay organized, do what you gotta do, when you gotta do it. But you stress yourself out by feeling the need to rush things. I can relate. I feel like I need to take my own, my own advice or spirit's advice right now as well. Anyways, so it's a day where this is on your mind. There might be, you might become more aware of what's stressing you out the stair, what's making you feel less peaceful. A big part of it is your own pressures that you put on your, your own shoulders. Nine of Pentacles to move right along. So you move on to Wednesday and you decide, you know what, screw it. That it was enough emotions, enough feeling burnt out. So you decide to reach for your independence, your, um, your pinnacle, if you will. For a lot of you, it's a day where you, you might take these two days off to kind of from whatever you're working towards to get yourself back together. And then on Wednesday, you're like, I can do it again. Good, I'm feeling better. So you reach for that financial comfort, that success, however it is for you. And then on um, Thursday, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So Thursday arrives and you're still working on it. It feels like that passion, that creativity, uh, all comes back, that determination. And it feels like you don't, at this point, you're realizing you don't need to rush it. And your quality might even improve more so um, in whatever you're pursuing, whatever you're working towards when you take your time. And it may you may find yourself at times working to late hours at night because of that passion and creativity and determination, but also because you're sort of stretching out a little bit more than condensing it into a stressful period of time. Interesting. Moving on to the Two of Pentacles for Friday. So Friday rolls around and you feel like you have a lot decisions to make about your future a lot of decisions to make about this project business whatever it is you're working towards whatever is like connected to you on a soul level it feels excuse the plane in the background and so it does feel like because it's side by side with this passion card again whatever you're deciding whatever you're figuring out whatever you're weighing in your own mind maybe weighing pros and cons it's very much connected to this passion of yours and then being aligned with the Nine of Wands, it feels like you're also making decisions moving forward, how to achieve this passion of yours, how to pursue it, continue, you know, moving forward without feeling wounded, without burning yourself out at the end of the day. Working smarter, not harder. Knight of Cups. So Saturday rolls around and it's like you, again, are feeling very creative. 
It feels like a significant other. A significant other might surprise you with flowers on this day or something special to kind of uplift you. How oh, nice. It's only for some of you. But being aligned with the Seven of Wands, it's like when you sort of make some of these adjustments and changes or figure out how to move forward uh, with more inner peace, feeling like this Seven of Wands is flipped back up in, you know, upright, you're left feeling more creative. You're left feeling more like you, less burdened once again. And so you see as the week moves on, Taking your time, making all these adjustments will simply pay off uh, in huge ways. Strength card to wrap up this week and spread. And on a beautiful note, you're finishing off on Sunday feeling quite strong. Um, being reminded from Spirit and the Universe how much you have ahead of you. And that you're stronger when you take your time, when you don't feel the need to do things quicker or to... Because um, who's actually putting this pressure on you, my friend? We're going to revisit that. It's you. So it just, again, take your time and you feel stronger. You feel more successful. You feel more independent. It leaves you in a better mental and physical spot to, an emotional spot, to reach for all that you deserve and desire in this lifetime. Let's wrap this up by pulling a couple messages from the Find Your Happy deck for our lovely Taurus to wrap up this weekly read. Thank you, Spirit. The Taurus. You're not taking all of those. I let go of what I can't change. Yep. You may be learning this this week or a reminder that whatever you can't change, my friend, just let it be. Work on you. Work on your success. Or continue to do so. My happily ever after is me. Yes. Absolutely. And so it just reminds you that even when, you know, little gifts from the universe come in, you're responsible for your happiness. You're responsible for your success. So take your time. Don't rush it. And, you know, just simply enjoy the process. Uh, I am gentle with myself in transition. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all going through transitions, but especially you this week. So keep that in mind and be gentle with yourself. On a beautiful final note, love is the key to my success. That it is. So put that beautiful love that you have within you into whatever uh, you're working towards, my friend. But remember, take your time. My friend, with that said and done, uh, I hope this reading was truly helpful. And uh, I want to remind you uh, again to head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation. And don't forget to subscribe to this lovely channel. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus.